In this video, we'll discuss how to use markers to select the transforms. Use of markers to select transforms. We talked about these when we were talking about vectors that our vectors should have selectable markers and we took two examples. One was antibiotic resistance gene and other one was an enzyme producing gene. So we will take both these markers and see how we will use them to select our transforms. First is the antibiotic resistance gene and then we will talk of the enzyme producing gene and how we are going to use these two things to identify our transformant. Now what exactly we mean by transformant is the cell in which the new gene or a foreign gene or that desired gene of ours has been introduced. Here say we are taking an example of ampicillin resistance gene. We talked of vector that is PBR322 which has this ampicillin resistance gene. Suppose this is our RDNA and in this RDNA we have introduced our desired gene. So this is our insert and this is the plasmid which we are using and in this plasmid say this is said PBR. Here is this ampicillin resistant gene. And if we introduce this RDNA into the host, we want to check whether this RDNA has gone in or not. Say these are our E. coli and we introduce these RDNAs into these E. coli. This E. coli received RDNA, this E. coli received and the other two did not receive. This is what we want to check. If we culture these type of uh, E. coli, 50% of the E. coli are not going to produce anything for us because the insert has not gone in and only 50% of these will produce it. To check this or to get rid of the non-transformers, we will grow this in a culture medium containing ampicillin. We know why we have taken ampicillin because we know that if our RDNA has gone into it along with insert ampicillin resistance gene has also gone in. And this one has ampicillin resistance gene. This one also has ampicillin resistant gene. So these E. coli or these type of E. coli will survive here in this medium. Whereas the E. coli in which our DNA could not penetrate, they will not be able to survive and they will die. So using this ampicillin resistant gene as our marker, we have selected our transformants. That means when we culture these E. coli or the cells, then only these will survive and these are the ones which are going to give us that protein which we are targeting. So using ampicillin or antibiotic resistance gene, we have selected our transformants. The second method is by using enzyme producing gene. And we already discussed that the gene which is most commonly used is LACZ gene, which produces or synthesizes an enzyme galactosidase beta galactosidase to understand what it does is let us take one reaction there is a substance called x gal it is a modified version of galactose this x gal which is a white colored substance when is broken down by this enzyme that is beta galactosidase the product obtained is blue. So X gal is white. In presence of beta galactosidase, it will break down to produce a dark blue colored product. 
this is what we will be using now say this is our plasmid which we are using as a vector and here is our lag z gene and in this case we introduce the insert in the gene that means this is the place where our insert will be introduced so this thing which is insert and this complete piece was the lac z gene by introducing this insert into the gene we have inactivated the gene and that is why this process is also known as insertional inactivation insertional inactivation now how are we going to use this again same thing this is the e coli which we are trying to test that whether it is a transformant or not and what have we introduced into this is our rdna and this rdna has our insert and the insert has gone into the lag z gene if we keep these e coli in x gap what will be the color originally as we know that x gap is white now what will happen to this white by this insertional inactivation we have inactivated lag z gene because our insert was put in the gene because of this inactivation beta galactosidase is not synthesized that means the enzyme which was required to convert white x gal into a blue product that enzyme is not there so this white x gal will remain white so if our medium remains white this indicates that these cells are not able to produce the enzyme and why they are not able to produce the enzyme is we have inactivated the enzyme and what was that thing that has inactivated the enzyme is the insert that means these are the cells in which the desired gene or insert has gone in or in other words these are our transformants so by using enzyme synthesizing gene also we have identified our transformants this is important term that is insertional inactivation it can also be termed as blue white conversion because of this color thing so using these two types of markers that is antibiotic resistance gene and our enzyme producing gene we are able to select our transformants and we will use these transformants to obtain that particular protein which the desired gene or insert is going to synthesize